Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Libby. And I'm Este, and we are the founders of Splendor. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is introducing a new sort of series where we launch like a get to know our beauty brands. And today's beauty brand that we're going to be talking about is Clay Cosmetics. If you want to know a bit more about the brand mm -hmm. and their product range and our experience with them, then please grab a cup of tea, strap in, and keep watching. Tune in. So, Clay Cosmetics is pronounced Clay. It's not Clay, which we thought for the first bloody six months <laughs> when we. That it was Clay. Yes. We actually watched a video um, from Clay Cosmetics. And we were we had been saying Clay for ages, and then we watched this video, and the founder had said Clay Cosmetics in a lot. Yeah, oh that's what we meant. <laughs> <laughs> Clay Cosmetics, founded by the lovely Lauren Jin, and her approach to this whole brand is very minimalistic. Their niche is very minimalistic, very chic. Even their packaging is mm -hmm. very minimalistic mm -hmm. and chic. Yeah, it um, carries through the whole aesthetic of yeah, the brand. I feel like it's a really underrated brand. Mm. They're very modern in their thinking and modern in their technology, which makes their products very innovative mm -hmm. um, and very multi-use too. Yeah. All of their products are multifunctional, which is, I think, the intention that the founder mm -hmm. wanted. So it's an American brand, um, but it has a lot of um, Korean sort of influence or uh, foundation from it. Yeah. So I think that's what makes it super innovative and fun. So that's Clay Cosmetics. Let's have a look deeper into the products. So we'll be going through all of the products that we currently stock on our website. We don't have the whole range that they do, but we're working on getting a couple more products in, but we'll just go through what we have currently mm -hmm. and our favorites as well. Mm -hmm. First one. First one, we have the melting lip powders. And I think if you've been following us for a while, you would have known how many times we've featured these in all of our different platforms. Mm. But it's honestly our favorite product that took us by surprise. Yeah. Like, it's such an amazing product. So what it essentially is, it's actually, it's a powder initially. So in the packaging, it's free flowing powder. But once it hits your skin, it actually turns into a liquid tint, which is super amazing. It's the first time we've ever really tried this kind of product. And it dries down matte. And I think Libby, you were saying that the hot choco you use as eyeshadow. Hot choco is my favorite to mm -hmm. use as eyeshadow more than anything because of the color, obviously. I feel like mm. it suits a lot of skin tones, but it just looks so nice on and mm -hmm. it blends so well. It looks like you're just wearing a brown eyeshadow. It's an amazing formula and it also contains vitamin E actually, even though it's a powder formula. So you're not worried about it dry being drying to the skin. It's actually quite moisturizing on mm. the lips. So I don't feel like I'm um, getting dried, even though it's a matte finish. Mm. So these babies cost $33 and there is, I believe five shades mm -hmm. and all of them, I think, suit every sort of skin tone. It has really definitely quickened up my makeup process in the morning when I'm trying to get out of the door in like five minutes. Yeah. So it like it's so easy to use, but yeah. it's definitely have become our first, I think, favorite or the first yeah. where we were like, wow, we've never seen this before. Nothing like it before. Yeah. I'm so glad that we've discovered it. Yeah. We use it like every day. Now, now I don't think I could use anything else faster than I can with these. Yeah. These are amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, so next product is another makeup product. We've got two makeup products in their range. Um, we've got the lip powder and this cushion highlighter. So this is not like your everyday conventional powder highlighter. Mm -hmm. It is a creamy cushion. So mm -hmm. it's almost like a, um, yeah, like a cream highlighter really, yeah. in a cushion form. It's called the Essence Moonlighter Cushion and it gives a pearlescent highlight finish. Mm -hmm. So it comes in three shades. We've got Copper Rose, Glinting Buff, which is our bestseller shade, and Apricot Tinge. Mm -hmm. But honestly, one shade doesn't suit just one skin tone. I think it's more based on your preference of what, what the color you like yeah. on your skin really. But. In terms of application, super easy to use. You just use the puff applicator that it comes with, dip it in and then put it on the high points of your face and it just gives you this really nice, natural, luminous glow. Not like a beaming, sharp highlight that the powders give you. Yeah, it's, it's not a, like a chunk. It's a very nice sheen. Yeah. Like it really just looks like it's like you're glowing sort of from within and it's just like, yeah, it's like, it, it almost looks wet as well. Like mm. it's like a melty, glowy like just sensation blends straight into the skin yeah so for me like really my morning routine is these and that this one yeah and i really step out of the house just with those 
um, two products, maybe a little bit of mascara and eyebrow, but yeah. honestly, those are my go-to every single morning because it's just so easy to use. You swipe that at the high points of your uh, face and you're good to go. You're like, good to you go. You just look so fresh, even though you've got like ready in like five minutes. Yeah, it's honestly, so good. we were a bit skeptical about this one from the start, oh, yeah. but we saw Gucci Paints use it when we sent one to her. We hadn't even used it ourselves, but we sent it to her. She used it and fell in love with it. So we're like, show us if she loves it. We need to love it too. So, yeah. so glad that we did because it's one of our best sellers now and mm -hmm. you know, we can't go do it without it. I think like highlighter is just like, it just finishes. It's the finishing touch to any makeup. Mm. And like without it, I just like, don't feel like I'm finished. Yeah. But this is just like super nice formula. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend that though over powder though. Mm. Like just have it straight on your like skin or the foundation. Cause I feel like, Alone, yeah. um, you kind of mess with the formula once you put it on yeah. top of powder. The whole point of it is to give a natural dewy yeah. glow. So if you're putting Correct. powder on top of it, it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. This one's priced at $50 mm -hmm. and yeah, check it out because we definitely think it's worth. Yeah. The next product we have is our oxygen foam cleanser. Where is she? Here she is. Here she is. <laughs> Found her. And um, look, I don't, love it and I don't hate it that's my opinion yeah um when it the, the small descriptions here says self bubbling cleanse so I don't know why but I had the expectation that when I pump it out this like pff, yeah like, fluff ball will come out or like a pom-pom ball will come out <laughs> and you just like sweep it up and like use it on your face but it's not it's just like a sulfate based gel cleanser, your usual sort of uh, gel cleanser. And I was a little bit shocked by that and I was like, oh, it's not as fun as I thought. <laughs> um, but look, I think the reason why I wouldn't gravitate it as much is because it's sulfate based and it, not because there's anything wrong with sulfates. It's more that it's a little bit too drying for my skin. So I've already got really dry skin and because this is so effective, it's making my skin a little bit more dry mm. and I feel uh, a little bit too tight after washing my face. Yeah. So I think for people who've got quite oily skin, mm. I think this actually would work quite well because it just gets rid of everything that you need to get rid of really quickly. So that's my opinion. You can still give it a go, but that's just based off my opinion. Yeah, you probably wouldn't recommend it for your skin type. Yeah, for my skin type. I think you, you probably wouldn't mind it at all, but mm. yeah. And this is $47. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next product that we have is a lifting mist, they call it, Radiant Skin Lifting Mist Tightening Facial Toner. So this one is a two-in-one toner and hydrator, and I've really grown to love this one. I thought it was just some boring old another mist that you just spray into your face just to prep it for skincare, mm -hmm. but it actually shows. So how you do it is you shake it up and then you spritz three or four pumps onto your face. Really nice fine mist, by the way, I mm -hmm. love the mist. Um, but I go five or six because I love that extra mistness. Yes. <laughs> if that's a word. And it does definitely give you the tightening effect. Not the bad tightening where you get all dry and cracked. It's like the tightening, I like to describe it as a plump, juicy grape. Yeah. You know, like you've just spritzed like a whole bunch of hydration into mm -hmm. your face and it's just sealed it off with the yeah. tightening. So this I've tried as well and it's like putting a spandex for your face. <laughs> it literally like goes like, it's, but that's yeah. how you feel is what the product is doing for your skin. Like it honestly, it's does. super tightening. Like I feel like I just go like that. Yeah. The the vibe that it gives me is anti wrinkle. You know, like uh, it's yeah. just like like wrinkles are yeah. gone. Like you just like super plump and tight. Yeah, it's it feels really nice. I've never really had a toner. Yeah. Um, that sort of does that kind of effect. Yeah, it does not um, dry you out at all, mm -hmm. um, which is really nice. So it's still hydrating but tightening. Yeah. Because it contains snow mushroom, which is. Mm -hmm a plant alternative to hyaluronic acid, and it has a smaller particle size than hyaluronic acid, which means it penetrates into the skin a lot more deeply and leaves you a lot more hydrated. Mm -hmm. So, And with like hyaluronic acid or with the snow mushroom, it creates a film on the skin, so I think that's actually what yeah. causes the, tight the tightening feeling. Mm. So it's not because it's drying you out, it's literally because of that film forming effect that it has yeah. um, from that ingredient. So yeah. it's a really amazing product, I it think. It is. Yeah, Final I verdict. Yeah. Was it pleasantly surprised, but definitely give it a go. Mm -hmm. For that extra... <laughs> $35 for this one. Mm -hmm. And the last one we wanted to show was the 
multi cream mm. multifunctional again multifunctional so it's not you know not just for the face it's not just for the body it's like literally for the whole body including the face in my opinion it's quite heavily fragranced by essential oils it's not fragrances it's just essential oils but it's quite strong for my liking it is yeah so i wouldn't probably use it for my face as much mm. i would definitely use it for my hands it's really moisturizing because mm. um, it contains uh hyaluronic acid as well as niacinamide mm. so for my hands lovely yeah my cuticles splendid <laughs> but for the face i just wouldn't it is it, i usually can take strong fragrance um products but this one is quite strong it's mm -hmm. nice it's like a really nice um scent but to put on your face i think it'd be quite powering especially for yeah. sensitive skin types maybe don't go there yeah you know um but for the rest like like you said hands and any mm -hmm. other like elbows and things like that it'd oh, be yeah. divine like yeah really relaxing kind of like mm -hmm. vibe when you use this like i don't want to generalize the genders but i feel like male consumers tend to like to use one product for the face, body, elbows, hands, everything, feet. Yeah. They just want to use one product. Mm. So I actually think this might actually be great for guys. For them, because yeah. like it does the job, but it doesn't clog. It's like, so my partner used to use a body cream as his face moisturizer, and I was shocked. <laughs> um, but no, I've sort of asked him to maybe try this instead. Maybe I should get him to actually use yeah. this. Because he just uses whatever he sees, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> no wonder you've got pimples. <laughs> so that is the whole range. Here you go. Just another overview of them. Give you so a hand. That's, so that's all the clay products that we have currently in stock. Yep. Um, our probably my favorite has to be the cushion, the two lips, and the lifting mist. Same. Those ones were the ones that caught me by surprise. Like, yeah. Um, those are the ones that I haven't used prior like i have it's quite different to yeah. what i currently have used before um yeah i love them because they're all innovative and like mm -hmm. you know multi-use tick creativity tick mm -hmm. you know easy mm -hmm. to work with yeah as well like if you're a beginner into makeup or whatever like definitely give clay cosmetics a go just i can get ready in five minutes yeah uh, who doesn't want to get ready in five minutes and slip in a bit more like yeah. hello <laughs> so give it a go we encourage you to um, and also share your experience if you do end up getting convinced to buy something let us know how you go we'd love to know how, how everyone else experiences these brands because i think that's what builds the beauty community it's like us sharing our experiences and having fun with it yeah but it's all about experimenting and having fun so let us know mm -hmm. so that is the end of the video mm -hmm. Hope you guys learnt a thing or two about Clay Cosmetics mm -hmm. and are intrigued about the products. If you do want to try them out, then we'll leave a link in the description box below to the collections page on our website. So hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. And give this video a like if you did like it. And let us know what you guys want to see next. Bye! Bye. So tin today's tin today's <laughs> <laughs> tin today video. Going <laughs> sort of from within. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and like use it on your face and come out gleaming. Uh. Uh. Something. <laughs>